Scrud is a peaceful dragon, attacked with the fields, animals and plants. Sleeping in a field camouflage, looking like just a rocky hill. He sleeps until something wakes him up, like a sheep or something. But in this case, what woke him up was a lot bigger. It was a normal Tuesday. The cows in the field were grazing, the flowers were blooming, and the birds were singing their morning song. And the dust cloud rising through the hill sent him straight to the field. Wait, what? A dust cloud was approaching the field. Grud needs to evacuate the cows. As the dust cloud approaches closer and closer, you can almost see a giant dragon stampeding through the trees and greenery. The dragon flies up into the sky and breathes out a huge cloud of dust and ashes. The dragon dives down into the ground, creating a large crate of lava and climbs out of it. Grud uses his amazing powers and creates a shelter to shield the cows from the danger of being burnt into a lovely stick. The dragon creates a circle of fire and roars its greatest roar. Grud stomps the ground again and again, making spikes from the ground and using their most projectiles, throwing them at the dragon. One of them hits. The dragon retreats to the highest hill in the field and starts breathing fire all across the field. Grud uses the tree branches to lift himself up to the hill. He's towering above the not so ferocious dragon and jumps off his natural tree tower towards the dragon. Grud swings faster and faster. Like a bullet, he connects the dragon and defeats it. Grud and the cows have a huge feast of the finest grass and wheat. While Grud regenerates and replenishes the charred grass, and makes the field more peaceful than ever. As all the animals go to sleep, Grud sleeps on the point of the fallen dragon and sleeps, dreaming about what the next day will hold for him. Another dragon, a new cow, Grud sleeps happily ever after.